to make my next visual novel. Maybe I can use artificial intelligence. That was my thought when I started to work on sweet science. AI art is discussed a lot in the public and often very critical. It's therefore natural that I have made this as a topic in my game. One of the girls in the story, Sylvia, wants to become an artist one day. Will she succeed? Let us look at four of her paintings. What do you think about them? They are also shown in the game when Sylvia presents her works to the player. Now, is this art? At first glance, yes, of course. But one could argue that it isn't. The castle is just a good copy from a photo. The bird in the cage is a frequent motive without any new creative idea. Also, this woman looks similar to many classical impressionist paintings. Maybe there are also other paintings a bit similar to this one. All in all, Sylvia shows some lack of creativity while at the same time a good technical ability. <laughs> but maybe it is different. Maybe she had some creative ideas and chose to paint in a way to convey her emotions. Maybe we simply misunderstand her. We would at least have to ask her. Or maybe we are anyway too critical in the paintings or art just because she produced them as such. Copying someone else's style doesn't make it not art, maybe just not as good art. Obviously, whether a painting is art or not is a matter of definition. Now, how about it at art? Well, nothing much dead here. The above four paintings were actually not generated by Sylvia, the aspiring artist, but by Dolly too. Are they art? Well, of course it depends on the definition again. On the one hand, we could say, art needs a conscious entity expressing its feelings through the paintings. In this case, AI art won't be art until the AI has provably a conscious. And that would also be difficult to define. There is no need for further discussions, case closed. On the other hand, we might say, if we cannot tell that it was done by an AI, then why shouldn't it be called art? In this definition, the generating process would not matter. Instead, the empirical observation by people looking at the result matters. And of course, they should know before who's the artist. Now to the punchline of the story. Warning. Spoilers ahead. In the game, it is the year 1992, and AI is in its infancy. Then Sylvia presents her paintings to the player, and they discuss about their meanings and then about the future of art. They conclude that art will be the only job left to be done by humans after computers have taken over all other tasks. From manual labor to taxes, math, sciences. And everybody would have agreed back then. It's a bit worrisome to see that we might all have been completely wrong here. Art is one of the first intellectual jobs that AI is now threatening. How wrong are we now when it comes to predicting what AI will do in our future? But finally, a bit of comfort for the artists here. The work on sweet science demonstrates that when AI takes over one job producing pictures, it reduces our creative space. However, new creative spaces open up. A project like sweet science wouldn't have been possible without this AI. So the very same AI that kills the jobs of some artists passed away to the production of other creative works. Okay, that's enough for today. In my next videos, we stop the philosophical musing. Instead, I'm going to explain how you can use AI to make art for your game. See you!